With the craze of AI we are going through right now, you can expect everything. Because every company we know is joining the AI race. And one of those companies is Kaios, the developer of the extremely popular render engine V-Ray. Kaios recently revealed that they are working on a project called Kaios Next, which is about introducing several AI tools that can help you achieve more using their already existing tools. And they are working on things like text to materials generation using prompts. This one looks impressive and I think can disturb how we use materials with V-Ray, for example. From what I can see, they claim it will be able to create complex and realistic PBR materials from just text prompts, which is the most efficient way to use AI at the moment. In addition to, and this one is new to me, generating materials using reference images. I don't know what's your opinion on this, but for sure, this is gonna change the materials workflow for many people and the industry at large. This technology already exists with other companies, but inside V-Ray, this kind of hits different. This can be used mostly by ArcViz artists, motion designers, product designers, and even VFX artists, I think. Another thing that Kaios is developing is an AI tool that automates the process of placing assets within a 3D scene in addition to environments, and it can do that automatically for you. I hope what they mean by that is scattering and placing 3D assets, not auto-generating renders. If this is the case, I think this can be a huge time saver, especially for those under deadlines or those who don't consider populating a scene a very important part of the artistic workflow. But the next one, I think, takes it a bit further in the direction that most artists and creatives would kind of hate, I think. Because from what I can see, it will change the look and the style of a 3D scene completely. Like takes it from A to B and change it a lot using AI, which I think kind of takes the creative process from the equation. Now back to materials, they also announced that they are working on a material aging simulator that I think will be able to make materials look aged or old using god knows what, because at the moment, I don't know exactly what they are doing or planning, except for this little information they shared about this project called Kaios Next. Interestingly enough, Kaios also wanted to implement AI to control interfaces. I don't know how this will change anything, but let's wait and see. I hope you found this useful and informative. If you want to read more about this, I will probably put the links in the description. So if you are new, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.